In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what the Elementor Pro Block Quote widget does, what it looks like, all of its settings, and a cool demo of what you can do with it. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what is going on? My name is Bjorn. If you like WordPress tips and tricks and always getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And this video is part of the Elementor Pro playlist in this channel link in the description down below or part of the comments down below. Make sure you check out the whole playlist to see all the widgets in action. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you get on the Elementor Pro Ultimate Course waitlist, which I'm building right now. I'm still in the process of building it. It's not completed yet. Getting on the waitlist is no obligation. But if you do like Elementor and you want to know how to do everything with it, get on that waitlist. Link in the description down below. And with that out of the way, let's hit the screen capture. I'll see you there. And next, we're going to check out the block quote element. I'm just going to copy this I could have left that other one down there come to think of it let's call this block quote let's add some space below this advanced margin bottom 60 40 let's do that block quote element go to the grid and choose the block quote element drag and drop that in and now we have a block quote. Nothing too special. We can change the skin. Right now there's a border on the left hand side here. Very light border. You can have it be a quotation box. We have quotation marks. Have it be boxed so it's in a box. And have it be clean which is just all white. I prefer the simple border. One of the cool things you may have noticed is on the right hand side there's a tweet button. We can turn that on or off and when someone clicks on the tweet button which won't work in the editor. We'll preview that in just a minute. But if someone clicks on the tweet button, they can tweet whatever this quote is. So it's a kind of a click to tweet type of thing, which is pretty cool. We can change the tweet button. There's a lot of different options for how the tweet button appears. Or it doesn't appear. If you don't want it, just turn it off. There's a lot of ways it appears. I prefer to use the bird and the tweet. Choose the classic skin, the bubble, just the link. I like the classic so it stands out a little bit. You can change this to whatever text you want. Maybe more of a call to action. Tweet it. You can have it via a username. So if you have the at WP Learning Lab username, which is my Twitter handle, or you you obviously wouldn't put that for yours, but you put whatever the username is in here if you want. And the target page could be this page, none, or custom. And for the style, we have the ability to change the text color, typography, as we always do the gap between the text and the name. And we can also edit the author color typography for the button, change the size, change the border radius, right down to nothing if we want, change the color, official or custom typography. And the border is referring to that little border on the left over here. So we can change the width of that to be quite thick if we want. I don't mind the default how it is. The gap is the space between the border and the text. I thought the default was pretty good. And the vertical padding is space above the border, which I think is pretty slick. I'm going to add a little more space just like that. Looks pretty good. On hover, you can change the border. So we could change the border color to, say, this blue when you hover over it, which I think is a pretty neat little effect right there. You can change the width, gap, and padding on hover as well. Just make it stand out if you change the gap a little bit. You can see on hover there's there's a little change. Maybe that's too much of a change. Or a subtle change like that. That's pretty cool. So that's the block quote element in Elementor. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And also consider buying Elementor through the affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you any more to purchase it that way, but Elementor does send me a few dollars commission, which helps me keep these glorious lights on. And if you do purchase through there, thank you very much. And next up, let's click on one of these videos that popped up on the right-hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.